we're going to talk about a really important part of the Windows 8 experience and platform, and that's the Windows Store. The Windows Store, of course, is the way that people will find and acquire Windows 8 Metro-style apps. We approach this with one really clear goal. We want to return as much money as we can into the hands of developers, and we want to provide the best economics of any platform. For revenue sharing, we're, doing, we're going to do something a little bit different. New apps will start at 70%, but then once an app has made $25,000 in sales, that number jumps to 80%. So from that point on, until the rest of time, that app will make 80% off the revenue share. It's not a small opportunity. It's not even a medium one or a large one. In fact, it's the most significant developer opportunity ever. 400 million, that is Gartner's estimate for how many x86-based machines will ship over the next 12 months. This is the run rate of PCs. And of course, this is where Windows shines and where the opportunity for you as a developer is completely unprecedented. Every iPhone, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet, and Mac sold in the last two years. I could combine all of these numbers together. It doesn't match what Windows has sold. Well, the store will be available in every language that Windows is available in. So that's over 100 different languages. And your apps will be localizable in all those languages as well. In the top 40 markets by GDP, which combined represent 95% of the GDP of the planet, we will have local currency payments and, and settlements. And Windows 8, is Windows. It's built on what is already the most enterprise-friendly platform there is out there. So that means that apps can be managed, deployed, and updated in the enterprise just as well as they can outside of the enterprise. Today, one of the most frustrating things with app stores for developers is just the constraints and the limitations on the, on the types of business models that can be used by apps that are inside them. Our approach is going to be about choice and flexibility. And we're going to provide support in the platform for the kinds of mechanisms that you need to actually do payments and things like that, but we won't force you to use them. We're going to let you choose what you use. We're going to give you room to innovate, not just in your app, but also in your business model. Discovery, which is what this is all about, isn't just about browsing and finding and searching. It's also about trying. The best possible advertisement for your app is the app itself. So one of the things we're actually going to do with the Windows Store is we're going to expose the catalog to search engines so that they can index it. These web pages are really important to discovery because you can deep link to them. So what that means is anyone can create, if someone's writing a review of your app or something like that, they can have a link directly to the page for your app in their review or people can build lit top 10 lists and things like that. We designed the store to make it as easy as possible for people to find apps. Minimal hierarchy, so as many apps as possible are close to the surface and just to tap away for me to go and acquire. Really, all of it's designed to get people to tap these tiles. Behind each tile is an app listing page. This is the surface area for the developer, for you to really establish both the character and the capability of your app. We're going to open the store to customers when we release the beta of Windows 8, and that's going to be in late February of 2012. We're going to have our first apps contest Please go build some great apps. We want to have some great apps in our store.